Hey guys, it's been a while since I've actually recorded myself shooting these videos, way back since the uh, Welcome to Lightroom intro video, so good to see you guys. Sorry, it's a it's a Saturday, I'm here in our warehouse studio, and uh, I didn't really expect to record this video today, so I'm kind of unshaven and everything, forgive me. Anyway, we're going to show you guys how to do a tethered import now using two cameras. We're going to do a demonstration with the 5D Mark II. I'm not sure if you guys can see this okay. 5D Mark II as well as the Nikon equivalent, the D700. Okay, so let's get right to it. It's really quite simple. Um, Adobe has built in tethered capture now really well into Lightroom 3, so we really don't need any third-party software anymore. Um, it's just going to be a simple process. Give me a snap to set up, so let's do it. We're going to have my Lightroom catalog open now. I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to the tethered capture and hit Start tethered capture. It's going to ask me for a few different um, options here. The session name is going to create a new folder basically with this session. So we're going to call it the uh, SLR Lounge Tethered Capture Session. And then this naming says it, it's going to be sample image 001 DNG. That's fine. I want it to keep the same file name as the camera itself. Um, don't worry about the DNG thing. It's actually going to capture whatever format you're capturing on your camera. If it's set to RAW, it's going to capture RAW, etc. So that's just uh, a sample. Then I pick the destination, and I want it to go back into, and it's already set to that, but I wanted to pick it to go back to our originals folder in our catalog file. So it'll join the other images inside of this folder called whatever we call it under the session name. All right, now the same thing, I can uh, apply some metadata and keyword information when I'm importing. I'm going to put none for now. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to bring up the tethered capture dialog, and that's what this thing is. And it's going to say no camera detected because I don't have any camera plugged in. Now what I want to do is grab my camera. I got just a regular USB 2.0 cable. I'm going to plug it right in here. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it's just going to right into the USB slot under the camera. Okay. Turn on your camera. It'll automatically detect EOS 5D Mark II. And now I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to turn around and get this. All right. There is a shot of our little unfinished warehouse studio on our 5D Mark II. I'm going to do the same thing on my D700 now. Now, I am not a Nikon shooter, so um, I actually had to borrow this from our associate sh shooter. Our, so, hopefully I got the right settings on here. It should detect, yeah, D700. Okay. And the same thing. I don't even know if this is focused right now. Oh, well. All right. White balance, everything is all messed up, but you guys get the general gist of it. So that's a tethered import from directly from our cameras. You can see how simple it was when I'm done. All I got to do is close this, uh, unplug my cameras, and I'm good. You can see the images are now in the SR Lounge tethered folder. And if I go to my Windows Explorer, I can see those exact. Oh, I'll just right click right here and say Show and Explore. I can see that there's my two images right there, and it saved it one for the CR2 raw file for the Canon and then it saved an NEF file so it didn't it didn't automatically turn them into DNG files that was just the sample file rename alright guys that's how you guys tether your cameras